So in this episode, I'm going to show you from the beginning how we fitted this uh, wheel on the end of the jig. So that's it, fitted on the end there. You can see how easy it wheels. How easy it wheels. I've got it down the the ramp out the garage. One on either side, obviously. And then the other side as well. So we've got the end. You can see there's a little shaft sticking through there with a the cotter pin in it. And you see how easy it wheels. It just wheels incredibly easily. And we've got them in all four four corners. Got the jig. See that one coming down there. So what I'll do is we'll show right from the beginning now how we uh, made those wheels, how I fit them up from the beginning. So 100 mil off this four times. Have we gone past the lab? Okay there? Yeah, that's great. There you go then. Good, that's all you need, a little bit off like that, will do it. Yeah, so we we'll let it drill a hole now, the same size as that. Yeah, we'll let it file these down. Go and just use your file, and you think we should put it in the on the grinder? The grinder, maybe just quick. Uh, I'll just stick the grinder. I'll just Should have gone Cena on this bench. I know it's that you see, is it? It's hard to see. It's hard to see the, the ends, like the, right on the ends. Corner. Right there. Straight there, John. Them step drills are good, mind. Ah, that's great, Dad. A bit than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Oh, I mean, because they were, because they're just small, do you mean? Aye. They're great. Uh, there was a few things I saw on that video on uh, Project Binky that were saying like that was one of the things I mentioned about aye, aye. he was using step drill and he said the beauty about using step drill he says compared to using your normal twist drill aye. you get a much nicer round of hole a do. twist drill you don't always get a nice round hole you don't so it's a yeah. handy that's, thing to that's know that's spot on that aye it is it is spot on
it's a nice round hole there. Oh, of course, it was a step to get a better round hole. Yeah. Oh, aye, definitely. Nice, lovely fit there. Yeah. Well, we slide the wheel on. We slide the wheel on. And just. I want to wash wash her on on. first. Drill a hole through this and then see where it comes to. Yeah. yeah. Drill a hole through this. Yeah. We well, see that would be all right there. Yeah. With that washer on and the washer on the back that keeps it off this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It won't need two washers on that, will it? One washer's plenty in there because there's nothing yeah, to catch yeah, on that nothing. side, the wheel no. and out. No. I would say that's So right you, now. you'll be able to weld that yeah, around on that. The inside there, we'll yeah. put that the other way around so the chamfer bit's on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Good plan, definitely. Yeah, got you. Aye. The chamfer bit's. Yeah, yeah, aye. Chamfer bits in there. But not much chamfer, but a little bit chamfer yeah. though. Aye. Well, you mean do a bit yeah. more chamfer, I suppose. Do, yeah. Do a little bit well, more chamfer. Right, that would think it'd be all right, like when you get a good, well, you get a good weld on it. Yeah. I need to clean some more of them, um, those things that were the file because uh -huh. that that one on this washer here is the wrong one. Right. I need uh -huh. to clean some of them out. But what I'll do, we'll take this off. Take this off, and then we'll. We'll drill a hole in where we can get the hole drilled in that. Uh, what size of pin we'll go? Oh, are you going to put a cotter pin in? Like a, like a split pin? Aye. Yeah, yeah. I can't see. Him. Yeah, I'd have said so. That'd be good enough, eh? I'd have said so, Dad. I mean, we could stick a little bolt through me, but I think the split pin just is going to work. Nah, put a split pin through, Dad. Yeah. Three mil, so two and a half mil drill bit. Mm -hmm. Two point five mil drill bit. Sli my bit slightly bigger for putting it through. Just make it nice and strong, one. Yeah, it? yeah, through. Aye. Uh, drill box is underneath your gear there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once we get this whole drill done, that. And put the wheel on, see where it's going to come to and that. And if we're happy with them, we'll just start cutting these off. We'll just set it to in, then I'll cut them off. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Jumps to three, so I'll have to put a three through. Yeah. I'll have to put a three through. Uh, yeah. Three would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. You get one of
in for us, then a washer. Then the wheel. And I make sure the split pin's level. With the, uh, the head's the right way out. Yeah. Log on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh I log on the outside, by do I. It wouldn't matter if we put them together like. Take them back apart again, put the valve yeah. on. Oh, yeah. I've got to be all tucked away. It did harm, did any? That sound that just put it over there with the road and then what's wrong with that? Then the washers for that one. The washers and then goes with that one. Fingers with the heat come through your fingers. I don't know which wheel is wheel, but which now. There we go. So, um, as I said in the previous episode, we're going to have a look at these uh, legs at the end of the jig that we've been so you'll see the back section um, in the episode 2. Um, so, basically, just like a T sort of shape, the bracing run down the corners. That followed um, Urch Fab's channel. So, if anybody has a look, has been across to that channel, Urchfab, Matt from Urchfab, he's a um, brilliant pack. Um, I thought his design was a good design, and I thought I decided just to follow his plan. Um, I'll definitely have a look across to his channel. It's really interesting watching him move the 100E up and um, any welding tips. I definitely gained a lot from, from that. So we'll have this along, along the bottom here. of wood through the middle. We're using wood just because a bit of flex in that, which is really handy for when you're running it on an uneven ground. It gives you a bit of flex between the two um, legs. And the leg basically on the end, um, so this is the leg and you have a tube welded at the top of the leg, just a little brace in the centre here. And then this piece sticking through here is the piece that's actually welded to the main uh, part of the jig on the mini. So just it's welded in here and it comes through the centre of this this tube here which is all part of this, this leg so it just spins inside the leg we just have a little clamp on the back there just stopping the leg from sliding off there um, and the front side it's just the same again so we've got that tube which is attached to the front part of the jig on the mini on that square which you've seen in the first episode it runs out the back with another clamp on holding it um, but the difference with this bit is we've got the plate on the front, so 
what I'll do is I'll get my dad, you want to split that, and I'll show you how that works. So you just, I've just attached that plate on the front there, which is actually attached to the, the main frame. Um, I'll split it, if you split it, dad, and I'll turn and pull the, the pin off. Just that pin, I'll just show you the pin. The pin's just attached to the leg. Not the tightest of welds, but it's solid. It's just a gate post pin that. So what you do is you pull the pin out, and then you can just pop the pin, lock it in there, and that frees the, the shell to move around. Oop. Left something inside. <laughs> just that bit of frame down. There yeah, so you'll be able to see. There's that centre tube moving round. Side of the side of the side of the side of the side of I know I did think this I was early on, I was thinking like when we were doing this I was thinking well, we can to have like the, the hook on snap the welded on there or something just so you put the jack on it or somewhere yeah. down here. Yeah. Just a piece out like that. Yeah, no, you need to see put the jack on and lift it up the back. I did think that I'd actually want to do when I was thinking. What we could make with it is a clamp. Clamp around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it off. Yeah. Yeah, just put the foam in there. Yeah. Same the clamp. Lift it up and lift it up. Even if it hooks it, it hooks it. Yeah, true, true. Just 